Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to use booleans. Now they're pretty much simple to explain, but I'll go ahead and go through them anyway. Pretty much what a boolean is is just an on and off switch. Okay? When it's true, it's on. When it's false, it's off. Real simple. Using is a bit of a pain in the neck, though. I'm going to show you why. We're going to use one boolean, open this door. First, we need. Actually, wait, let's set this up first. I'll test it true. Open. I'll test it false. Lock it. Here's where it gets complicated. Close it. Here's the extra part. No, we're not going to use that. There's a counter. Two, reset on count. Count reached. False. And now you're going to watch it work. <laughs> Opens the door. Not supposed to lock it. Check my coding again. Yeah, I'm supposed to add one to that. Let's try that. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work. And you can see why I don't like these things that much. Now, to be fair, I've used Booleans in uh, other programs, but Booleans work differently. You just turn them on and they work automatically. You don't have to test them a whole lot, as far as I know you don't. Some, some programs you do, but not a whole lot. It's the test option that throws this thing off. But now I'm going to show you what you're supposed to use it for. So, you need that. We're dead. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a remote for it. We still need this. You're supposed to use this for remote locations. So, we're going to set the same Boolean in a different spot. True. This works. Set the false. So let's move it so we can still see the door when we activate it. Because this is mainly meant for uh, 
additional uses. So I'll show you. it. You can see why I don't like using these things. <clears throat> Alright, well basically you get the picture. You're supposed to use these basically to activate certain things. Now the cool thing about booleans, and this is the one thing I recommend you use them for, don't use them for doors. <laughs> like I'm using them right now. You're supposed to use these for activating other sets of code. Like for instance, like if you want a character to change their uh, loadout completely, use it for this. If you want to change the uh, environment in the room, have it on a timer for some reason, use it for this. And be able to turn it back and forth if you want. <coughs> uh, the only thing is, you gotta do a few other things to make it work properly. Like, I had to use a counter, so that I'll set it back to false. Or put a timer on it and make it turn back to false and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, so, that is how it works, basically. Now, don't use it for doors. <laughs> Listen to the door from far away. Uh, what I do recommend you use are these. Which is pretty much what this is supposed to do. What this does is just a simple command where you can shut off something from far away as a remote. This is what this is supposed to do, but this does it just fine. This just makes it turn on and off. Okay? Now don't let this discourage you from using it. Use it for purposes that you know you can use it for because you gotta do a lot to get it to work the way you want. <laughs> but that being said, hope you found this helpful and you all take care. <laughs>